Hello everyone, welcome to our talk today. I'm Mang Mang Cai, PhD, JD, attorney at law at Niu Wei Ming Law Group. So the topic for my talk today is EBYA application strategy, recently approved case after appeal. We have obtained thousands of approvals for EBYA and AIW cases for many talented applicants, especially researchers and scientists. One of the recently approved case was approved after appeal to the Administrative Appeals Office, or AAO, and the decision was published on the official website of the UICS. The decision date was October 23, 2018, and the case is titled Matter of BL. It's available to the general public, and you can find more information online. If you need more specific information about the case, you can contact us and we can send you the link to this published case for your benefit. So specifically, well, uh, we believe this decision can help you better plan the application strategy for EB1A Alien with Extraordinary Ability application. Specifically, this application, the applicant, the beneficiary, is a researcher majored in bioscience, and he was a postdoc when the application was filed. It was filed to the Nebraska Service Center, or NIC. As we know, uh, it is relatively difficult to have EBYA approved in the NIC in recent years. And specifically, this case was denied in the NIC after IFE. After that, we appealed to the AAO in February of 2018. And after adjudication, the case was approved by the AAO in October of 2018. Specifically, the AAO pointed out this applicant's work had been implemented by others in the field of expertise. Specifically, the work has been cited by patents, and those patents have practical value, uh, clinical value. And uh, while the total citation number of these applicants' publications are not particularly high. Well, the applicant's work has already been cited by famous scholars, including Nobel laureates, which shows the contribution made by the applicant. And uh, the applicant has also participated in peer review works for journals. Well, this work, according to the AO, does not automatically prove the impact to the field. However, the applicant has consistently completed reviews for multiple journals and also served as associate editor for one journal. Well, this helped show the recognition of applicant's status and the impact to his field. Also, the AO cited the recommendation letters support filed uh, for the applicant supporting the application. Uh, this applicant conducted research projects both in neuroscience and also in HIV-related study, or in immunology and virology. And the work has already been reflected in pending patent, even though the patent has not been approved or licensed yet. Well, it may still help show the applicant's accomplishment. Specifically, this EB1A case was originally denied in the NIC by the immigration officer. And one of the alleged reasons is top small percentage researchers in the field, they usually have thousands of citations. The AAO pointed out that, well, these thousands of citations is not a standard requirement for EBYA. And the applicant's specific research and the citation record, including the percentile of how the applicant's publications were cited, and the comparison to other scholars in the field, these should all be considered, and we did submit this kind of evidence to support the qualification of the, our client, the applicant. So overall, the take-home message is, well, uh, numbers are important, but it's not the only measurement. If the application is only decided by the numbers, then we do not need immigration officers. Well, a robot or a computer program can complete the evaluation and the decision for the 
I-140 applications, especially EBYA and NIW type cases. Uh, on the other hand, the overall background, uh, track record, accomplishment, and how do you present the applicant's work is important. Um, so we believe this AAO decision, including detailed analysis uh, in the decision, have uh, important usefulness in like guiding and helping preparation of the EBYA applications in the future for application strategy. Uh, in addition, we recently received quite a few EBYA approvals, including approvals from the Nebraska Service Center, the NIC. So we feel you know, as long as the application is well prepared and the applicant does meet the standard requirement for EBYA alien of extraordinary ability, the application should be approved under normal conditions. Of course, it's never easy, but uh, it is still doable. So again, uh, the topic for this talk is EBYA application strategy based on recently approved case after appeal to the AO. Please contact us if you have additional questions. Thank you.